Y'all hold y'all's hands out. Thank you. Thank you. Verse 7. Verse 7. Say, man's hands are sealed. I'll make all men know my word. God's hands are sealed. God said, this is my word.
still in this room today. It's because I know you've been talking to me the whole time. Get up out of your seat. Come, oh, Lord. Lord. My God. come on, let God be master. Let him come. 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 Let People all on platforms all the time. They're just going through the routines. They're deep inside. Deep inside. They're so tormented that they're afraid. And if anybody knows that they're going through something, how in the world? How in the world? They need to learn something from you. Because you're showing that, that though I'm going through something, I still walk to my place. And I still lift my hands. Somebody, you praise God in this room today, and you ain't found nothing the whole time you did it. But God said, hey man, you're nothing but an example of what it means to hold on to faith in God. Even when you don't feel nothing, even when you don't see nothing, when you don't know what else to do. And God said, if you come in to my altar right now, you will feel what it is that you've not felt in a while. I will come to you, and you can not confirm you with my pitiful rain. Obey! Yes. That's it, only God. Just go. You don't sit here this long, but some neighbors say, everybody's done in line when you're going to eat, so I can just Come to the table of the Lord, honey. That's it, come on. That's it, come on. That's it, come on. Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I felt this strong for you to do this week, worship. When I was just someone else there, I said, Lord, I wish you could. I want you to know today, my dear sister. God says because you made the choice to put on a garment of praise. Because that's what praise is. It's put on. That's why I told my time, I said, when you put on, I said, thank you for coming. That's why I said, see, it's my priest says you do the praise. It's a garment you put it on. All people look at you and think, oh, she's got it going on. She can feel it. She's got it God says that is just the opposite. And I have seen your faith before me when you felt nothing, you led my hoop. When you felt nothing, you followed through. You almost didn't come sometimes. You almost gave it to somebody else many times. Uh, but you stood anyhow. Because of this, said the Holy Ghost, uh, what you've been listening and feeling, I let you catch up right now. We're not present. You know, and because you put on the garment of praise, I don't know. Thank you, Holy Ghost. 
No, you will not be stopped. You will go in the strength of the Lord your God. Lord, I thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that is in her back, everything, Father God, that is hindered her. Lord God, that she is released from this moment on and she goes forward. Even as I prophesied, as I quoted in the beginning, Exodus 14 and 15, speak unto this people, Moses, and say, Go forward. Be down by something on the shot of the decay. 1 Samuel 16 and 13, Samuel alone and Saul for that day and forward. God wants you to move forward. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. 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 Yes, Lord.
God said, it's not that the door is going to open. God said, it's already there. My God. It's Amen. before you. Amen. My God. It's before you. It's before you. You know, a lot of people think God's going to open the doors. No. When he called you, he doesn't open them all. Yeah. And there's an open door that is before you. So God says, ahead of you, there'll be the door that I've already got open. So somebody shouts, you're going to walk through it. you got to keep walking forward. Yes, yes, yes. It's, it's, it's already it going to open. It's already in. Yes. I mean, it is already open. Just keep doing what you're going to do and go forward in the faith of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And God says you're going to step. When you step into it, it's just going to be like that. Yes. It's going to appear like it's an open night thing. No, it's not been because it's been a lot of night times. It's been a lot of hard places you've had to walk through. God yes. said, I've been seasoning. Getting you prepared for this that I'm about to let you step into. You yeah. see, there's a great and effectual Lord, and it's open unto you, but there are many adversaries. First Corinthians 16 and 9. God said the open door, amen, is greater, but you got to understand when you go through the open door that's greater, there's larger enemies there. More enemies there, the enemies you can face. But God says, I have prepared you through this season where it just seems like you've been attacked on either side. And it just seems like stuff's been killed by it. God said, This has not been the devil. This has been the Lord's doings. Let it be marvelous in your eyes. Because even this stuff that has made you feel even rejected has been nothing but God getting ready to project you and place you in this old door He's already set before you. He's been getting you ready, brother. And you're almost ready to step through. 